In one control boards need to be programmed before they're used for the first time. Normally configuration usually includes configuration of motors and then setting prices if all your payment devices are MDB. If you're using a micromech changer and a pulse validator, there's some additional settings that need to be changed. But I want to um, do a, a short video here describing a common issue customers have when they put an N1 kit in. And typically, this is uh, caused by not configuring the controller. So if the control board is not configured and it's in, it's in a vending machine and the machine is powered up, um, it's not going to work until the motors are configured. You may get a clue of this when you tap on the service mode button. Um, service mode function is a way for you to set payment devices, change prices, um, set sensors, and it's also a way to determine the happiness of the machine. And if you hit the service mode button and main menu appears, that's a good sign the board is happy it doesn't detect any problems. However, if you see system errors when you hit the service mode button, that's telling you that's telling you that there is a problem with the board that needs to be taken a look at. Typically when you hit service mode, system errors appears, you hit the down arrow key one time and hit the execute key to clear the error, except for motor errors. It gets a little tricky. So I'll show you how to work through motor errors. System error appears instead of main menu. And so when this happens on any N1 control board kit, it doesn't matter which one, Simply hit the down arrow key one time and see what the error displays. Okay, it's telling me that the board sees motor errors. And like I said previously, this could be due to the fact that the machine was never to configure to begin with. So it doesn't know what motors it's responsible for. And simply reconfiguring your motors will solve that problem. So let's use that in an example. We have motor errors. Hit the cancel key one time. In this situation, it's the G. This is a 110 control board. And then simply scroll down till you get to configure. Press enter or execute. It's the H key. Now you're in the config menu. Press the down arrow twice. Configure motors appears. Press the enter key and we have zero motors. So right now I'm going to hook a motor back up and simply hit the H key again. Okay, the board sees one motor. Um, at this point in time you should hit the uh, cancel key which is G twice or the service mode Okay, and then you want to go back in service mode again to see if there's additional errors you did not clear. Okay, main menu appears. The board is happy. Just proceed about your business. Hit the service mode. Now the machine is back into Venn mode. Let's see if that motor is there. A1 shows 25 cents. Let's try a purchase. 25 cent credit, A1, and now that motor is working again. I hope this uh, helped everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.